So welcome to Data Pandit. So today we are going to talk about there are two metrics actually ramp and limit. So most of the transform components in Avenisio we have a reject threshold. Reject threshold in the sense of before stopping the graph how many records can be processed or how many rejects can happen sorry how many rejects can happen before the component process you know uh, stops so normally what we see is uh, as soon as the one error record or you know faulty records come into the system or into the component the component tries to stop you know sometimes uh, malformed record out of order record or any uh, errorness uh, record comes into the ab initio component or we call it as a component process ab initio process the component stops graphs fails and we will have a error log that right and we try to uh, see the try to see the error and try to diagnosis and fix it fix the data right sometimes or if data is not data seems correct then we try to modify the dml etc etc depending upon the context we take the decision so based on that i mean so this reject threshold sometimes the case could be like we expect we as a developer or we we as a you know data processing system we expect uh, records to be rejected let's say we have millions of records and we expect that 2000 records or 5000 records may come as errorness but while processing 1 million record we should not you know much care about or we probably may not be caring about all those you know malformed record or errorness record which we are already expecting we have a known you know expectation of receiving a malformed record then we don't want to stop the process rather we should rather the component shall continue you know processing the other records right we should reject those record we probably try to log those record into the file and then after processing we may relook all those records and try to send those records to the source system so that they can send those records into the next successive batch or something like that right after enriching or maybe for other reasons so depending upon the the error or depending upon the issues which we might see into the logs and reject port right so th this is the tolerance of the you know uh, transform component or the component which is getting process which process the records uh, we specify as a limit so there are two metrics limit and ramp limit is a absolute number basically like 1 2 or maybe it's a 10 or 1000 we can specify and ramp is the some rational number right uh, so we can specify 1 we can specify you know 0 we can specify 0 0.01 right so that kind of uh, uh, value ramp is there record process in the sense of at that moment you know the number of records already has been processed already completed the processing or processed so let's look at these metrics and what are the different contexts uh, what are the different uh, you know configuration we can do as part of the processing right so let's say we have a requirement such that our component is not tolerant about the rejection in the sense of we would want to stop the process as soon as we receive the first first malformed or first error record first rejected record so if we want to do that we have a reject threshold called abort on first re first reject either we specify either we set up reject threshold is equal to abort on first record or we can specify the same thing in terms of ramp and limit so how would you do that as part of ramp and limit is if reject threshold is equal to ramp and limit then what we can do is limit is equal to 0 ramp is equal to 0.0, .0. in the sense of 
so ramp and limit both if we specify 0.0, .0 and 0 then it is equal to the about on first record right so if we look at the let's say if we look at the this one reformat component right so what is the formula of tolerance t o l e tolerance formula is limit limit plus ramp multiply by number of records record processed so this is the tolerance limit of the particular component right so uh, let's say we have a reformat component we have thousand record coming in so we specify if we so there are three values actually you know first is never abort abort on first reject or there are three values basically if we look at this you know so let's say so what are those three values is reject threshold has three values can have three values first of all is abort on first reject never abort or use reject use ramp limit so these are three values never abort these are the three values actually the word on first because never about use ramp if we specify so if you look at this here reject threshold about on first record my component is not tolerant actually so i can say that reject threshold is equal to about on first record or i can say reject threshold use ramp limit and then i specify limit zero and ramp is equal to zero dot zero if we do that zero plus zero dot zero in the sense of tolerance is zero right in the sense of there is equal to about on first record okay this is how we specify so as soon as we receive one error first error record this report is going to be um, failed okay <clears throat> now second context the, so the system is highly intolerant of rejection means this is not tolerant actually second is like tolerant unlimited reject events it is kind of never uh, never abort I don't want to abort. I don't care how many, you know, how many reject happens. My component should should not fail. It should process. So first we can do is we can specify either never abort or we can specify ramp. Ramp is equal to minus one means this is minus one. Limit is equal to zero. If we specify limit zero plus ramp minus one into number of record processed means tolerance is going to be negative in the sense never abort don't abort it means tolerance negative in the sense of we don't want to be you know stop the process because it's never comes positive in the sense of we don't have to stop the component irrespective of number of record processed right so these are the two is the toll so you know the system can collect such record in file or for further analysis but the job shall continue so this is the another context or another requirement like we have a multiple number of records and we we are just developing we are we are in the developing uh, you know developing application this is a new application and we 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 will have you know incomplete records we will have multiple different error and record yeah we are just developing the process we don't have you know uh, we don't have validation process in place right if that kind of context we have currently then you know we could try to develop these kind of systems basically in the first place and then when we have validation in place and we will have you know other uh, mechanism to stop the errorness record then we will we will rectify all those records right you know we just re reject those record we will try to load those record into some table and then that report goes to the source system if that kind of you know automatic mechanism that time you know 
the time until we have that automatic mechanism in place we that kind of you know time we can uh, we can use this kind of processing right and then third context could be to set absolute number of rejects specify only limit that will ramp it equal to zero if we want to say to the component that after 50 reject i want to stop the process what we need to do is we give the limit as 50 ramp as zero so if you look at this formula limit as 50 ramp is zero in the sense of after tolerance is equal to 50 after 50 rejects i will my reformat will stop if i have an entire uh, you know data set if i have 49 issues or 50 issues rather this reformat will not stop if i have 51 issues then at the last record it will be failing so up until uh, you know the threshold becomes uh, you know rejects threshold becomes 50 it is not going to fail if that kind of context we need to set up then what we need to do is we need to specify limit as 50 ramp as 0 okay we cannot specify these two parameter right about on first records or never about in that kind of situation this ramp limit this third value is uh, taken to significance and wherein we will have a uh, ramp zero and limit some some number you know some absolute number so that so this is the that kind of situation <clears throat> let's say if we have any other so we can have some set you know kind of tolerance rate for the reject events in the sense of we have a system but and we specify the let's say depending upon the we don't know how many records are going to come but we know you know as a rough idea you know we know that out of thousand you know we will have some kind of 50 records or we will have a 50 plus records 50 is certain but it could be more than 50 also let's say 50 plus uh, in thousand i will have a like a 10 more or 100 more records so kind of from 50 to 150 maybe 51 or maybe 150 these kind of range if we have then we try to see these kind of numbers right set a tolerance rate so in that kind of situation right we are expecting so in that kind of situation what we can do is let's say i am expecting uh, this is my formula and above now let me try to see that in thousand record i'm expecting kind of hundred record okay so what i can do is 50 plus record right 50 plus record has issues i can say the 50 is certain means limit is 50 for plus thing i can do is like a ramp i can specify or let's say i am specifying ramp zero dot zero one into number of record process so thousand then how many it will come it will come as 100 right 0 0.01 uh, into thousand is equal to 100 right so what i am saying is i am saying the expectation of tolerance i mean rejection could be i i am expecting 100 records in thousand 150 plus record in the 50 to 150 i can expect so i can specify ramp at 0 0.01 so that if that big uh, that uh, you know the tolerance is within limits then it is it the reformat will pass through otherwise let's say i received I received more than 150 right from uh, within thousand i've got 151 then it will fail in this case if one 151 failure occurs in thousand record then this process will fail reformat is going to fail if it is within 150 then it won't fail so if that kind of uh, you know context we need to set up then this is required modest limit is thousand limit i can say thousand why we specify this limit is because we don't want to stop the process in the starting of the process let's say specify limit as one so it is highly likely that it is going to be stopped 
in the beginning let's say in the beginning itself i got some bad records right all the records so i am expecting within in thousand record i am expecting 100 record was all 10 records you know the error ness record uh, came into the 1 to 10 right in that kind of situation this kind of tolerance is going to be you know um uh, is not uh, is not be working because it will uh, in that kind of situation we need to space by some limit limit you know, 50 right so that to make the balance right the probability of happening uh, the reject record or probability of happening the malformed record in uh, you know in the entire data set in which place right so that to adjust that we specify some limit in the beginning so modest limit if you, i could say is kind of you know which will, which will work in most of the cases is going to be 1000 if i don't specify anything if i say zero then you know if first you know within first record is going to be you know the reformat will stop in the first record itself if i specify zero or something if i specify one even right so to avoid the stopping of the reformat component in the beginning we specify the limit so that some of the records it will the it, it is a kind of you know stability in the tolerance kind of so that the limit is that kind of parameter it specify the stability of the tolerance of the any particular component so what we do in this kind of situation we collect those records all the rejected record will go to the reject port we collect those record into the file all the error record will go into the error right we will collect and all the log respective logging also go into the respective log file <laughs> We collect all those things and then we will try to uh, revisit those issues right at a later point in time so, okay so with that thank you so much